there. In this tutorial, I am going to go over audio editing. So oftentimes you'll have multiple cameras, uh, maybe even a digital backup recorder, and some are louder than the other. Maybe some have air noise. You want to isolate it. Um, I'm going to show you here using keyframes and uh, this function of using the volume, which is V, and you can see right here it takes it all these nodes that I've already created away by hitting V on your keyboard. V again brings it back. And if it didn't work, you know, make sure that you're clicked on the track and then hit V. Okay, so what you need to have are your audio, your project, all in your timeline. You have it already synced up. Sorry, these are HD files, so it's taking a little longer. So here we go now. Fifty dollar. I'm gonna fifty now. Fifty. Okay. I'm watching my levels. You know, I'm seeing that. You know, maybe that's a little loud for me. So I've already created this keyframe. So the keyframe is going to slowly fade in and out your audio. All you have to do is double click on that line there, and it creates another one. And so you want to have, in essence, let's say three. Say here, um, somebody dropped a microphone, somebody coughed uh, during a wedding ceremony. Maybe the wind was like psh, blowing out your main microphone. So just for that moment, you would drop it down. And then you can just isolate, you know, little area. Make another one have four of them and you can do a pretty large area. And we'll just take a listen here and y'all should clearly be able to hear it. You know, and if you didn't really know it, you would, that would be seamless. Nobody's ever going to know that. Let's see what happens right here. Sold. Sold. So, you know, let's say that was a cough instead. And there are some shortcuts. Um, I, you know, there you go. So I clicked on the volume and then it already created four of them for me. So I'm going to control Z and un undo all those. Try that again. So here's my endpoint, the out point of where my whatever it is, cough or clicked on it and it created it for me. It's already highlighted in the two of them. It's smart, it knows what to do, so then you can just isolate it that way. I'm gonna try it on another track. Let's see here. What about this one? Oh, I, I did too many clicks, but there you go. Let's play it. Oh. And... Oh. we could just loop our playback go, 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 go. and it sounds great or you can stretch out our playback and just My listen song. to the go. only place My song. Go. so there you go that is just a quick and down and dirty um, I mean you can really get crazy with it uh, depending on how many audio glitches you have or whatever you need you know uh, you can always start with you can see here I've doubled the track track this main track was with my microphone um, just really up to the speaker that's the one I doubled my digital audio backup recorder my second camera so there you have it thanks for watching